Hello everyone, I'm back again with a new basic tutorial as requested by one of my subscriber. In carving, it's a very basic exercise of making a cube or a cuboid of a specific dimension. So let's start. We'll first start with making the surfaces flat using the carver. As I have explained in my basic tips tutorial to use the flat back side of the carver. Run the carver very gently, making the surface flat. Run to the full length of the block removing all the irregularities. Run the whole length of the edge with equal firm strokes. Use only the flat side of the carver. Keep continuous strokes without stopping in between the length. Observe appearance of the flat surface. Do it on all the four surfaces. Keep your blocks stable always. Clean all the wax flakes that have adhered. Now check on the glass plate, see the surfaces are flat. Now we'll proceed in making a cuboid of 1 cm by 1 cm by 1 inch. First we'll make this surface flat too. First we'll make this surface flat to a base at 90 degree to the long axis. Use same moves as described earlier. Apply equal firm pressure by the edge of the blade to the full dimension of the surface. Be very gentle while carving. Rotate along the long axis and continue same moves. We want this surface flat and perpendicular to the long surface which we have already made flat. Observe a flat surface. See, here we have a bevel. Continue to flatten this surface. Never use the curved side of the blade, it will give depressions.
it seems like it's flat we'll check so it's flat too now we can proceed from this surface now we'll mark a length of 1 inch Take a little extra of about 1 mm to get the ease of carving to flat and finish. You can cut the block with carver or any craft knife. So we have cut the block slightly more than 1 inch. Just check it. This little axis will use to finish and level. So we have already prepared one surface. We'll prepare the one we've just cut. We'll do it the same way as before. First keep your cover braid fat, gently remove all the irregularities and with firm full length strokes level up the surface observe for the flat surface you need to make the surface flat and perpendicular to the long side Verify the length, it's still longer. Run carver to the full width end to end, else you'll have a raised margin at the end. Rotate 90 degree and continue the same process with applying firm pressure while carving. Run in both directions using both edges of the flat side of the blade. To know more about your carver, check out my basic tips tutorial video. Verify length from all sides. Don't lift your cover like this. Keep it flat and perpendicular to the long axis, else you'll develop a concavity. Rotate again and proceed. Hold the block firmly and straight or perpendicular to the blade. Always clean the block to remove the wax flakes before checking. See we are getting raised edges that means there is a convex surface or a bump on that surface. Now we'll learn how to make it flat. Carefully observe the flat shiny bump that came in contact with the glass plate and try to flatten that area only. The raised area can be identified as a shiny patch by slightly pressing or rubbing the surface against the glass plate.
clean wax flakes and check again. See it has flattened a bit but still margins are not touching. Again give light even strokes only to the raised area. Keep the cover flat. Keep rotating and carving. See now the edges are also touching. The side needs a little correction. Repeat same if any correction is required. So now all the sides are flat. We have achieved one inch length of a cuboid. Now we'll make this side one by one centimeter. Since we have made all the sides perpendicular and flat, we'll need to reduce it from only two sides to achieve required dimension. We'll measure and mark 1 cm by 1 cm. Mark like this on both the ends. Make sure you mark for the same two sides. Connect the two markings on the longer side. Now using a sharp carver or a craft knife, cut the excess straight down. Gross flattening can be done using a craft knife or a carver. Keep verifying the dimensions too. Feel the surface getting flatter. Always keep cleaning the wax flakes. Keep your cover clean of wax flakes. These flakes can stick to the surface of cover and wax block, which might hinder in the process of making the surface flat. Give light, firm, gentle strokes to the full length of the block.
We'll check now. See here we are getting the bulge in the center with raised edges. You see these shiny markings coming? These are the bulged areas. To detect these, I have told earlier, slightly press or rub against a clean glass plate. Most bulged part will come in the contact and will appear shiny. Proceed with the leveling up of these areas. Firm gentle strokes. Check again. Before that, ensure you have a clean glass plate. Keep checking and leveling with the cover. Now it's flat. Now we'll do this side, same procedure. Just keep patience and keep carving.
see now this is also flat now we'll verify the dimensions We'll do some finishing and it will be done. These two sides are smooth. The side has some flex attached and also on this side. We'll work on these two. Give firm gentle light strokes. Keep cleaning the cover. I will check again. These are flat and of required dimension. So that's how you make a cuboid of required dimension. I hope this video was useful. Do let me know if you have any suggestions or queries in the comment section. So keep learning and keep carving.